after Richard Ruth has resigned and after you've appointed a minister to replace him, what it was that um, led to you losing confidence in him as a minister? Well, I'm not going to go any further than say that um, he lost my confidence. And you know, I believe through the Richard Worth uh, saga that I, that I acted fairly, uh, but firmly and swiftly. And at the point at which a minister loses uh, my confidence and they can no longer be part of the executive, Richard Worth is now uh, a member of the public. He's not a member of parliament. He's not a member of the National Congress. And it's not a part of the executive. And on that basis, for me, it's the chapter closed to that story. And, uh, I'm moving on. I think it's a little bit years? bizarre that we're not going to know why you actually set the minister. Uh, well, as I say, he lost my confidence in that senior manager. Does he not lead you? Uh, look, I'm not going to comment on the details. I, he, uh, you know, he lost my confidence, and that's enough. Do you actually have a public interest? Here's a guy that is not only no longer a minister, he's no longer an MP. Because of whatever transpired between the two of you two or three weeks ago. Well, he's no longer a member of Parliament um, because he chose to take that course of action, and no, I don't think I'm going to explain it. Is it a police him. investigation that actually preclude you from saying publicly why you removed him? Uh, well, look, you know, it's, it's, as I've made clear, um, it was nothing of a legal nature. You were, you were talking about, about not wanting to contaminate, sir. Yeah. You, you were talking about not wanting to contaminate a police investigation. Yeah. That's the, the reason you gave us That's right. for yeah. not um, commenting on it. And that now that remains a valid reason, but had he uh, stayed as a member of parliament, the situation might be different. But he's no longer a member of parliament. He's a, he's a member mm -hmm. of the public, and on that basis, now it's been dealt with. So you, 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 you just said that it, was, no, it wasn't a legal matter that led to his resignation. How could you have possibly been contaminating the police investigation if you told us what it was. Well, it is said you, I've dealt with that. You've talked about open and transparent government, but um, Sir Kisa, why not just ask what Well, the cabinet manual is very clear. Uh, if I lose confidence in the Minister, uh, then I need to act. And I made it clear in Parliament that I lost confidence in the Minister. So this was a, basically a trust me situation? Well, well, yeah, I think New Zealand public do trust me to be, uh, I think, a fair uh, but reasonable person. And the sort of information that I felt I needed to act on, I acted. What about the fact, though, that uh, his colleagues may not really know exactly what it is that the new, new standard is that you've set in your government? I mean, surely they deserve an explanation. Uh, I think they come through with the way that I've acted. They know it. Why? Uh, I haven't gone through the specific details with them, but I think they know that I'm a reasonable person. So the standard is what? Oh, the cabinet is quite clear. Go and read it. Section 8. Well, you did say at the time, though, that, that all would become clear in the fullness of time, and you would know what the reason was. And had he stayed as a member of parliament, that may well be the case, because I think you would have a right uh, to go over the entrails of that, if you liked, because he was a member of parliament. He's a member of the public. Can I just confirm um, your basis for um, not disclosing this? Is it to protect Richard Worth's privacy? Well, look, I, I have moved on. Well, yeah, but um, obviously we haven't, and the public haven't. Well, so we're asking the question: um, what, what is the basis of non-disclosure? Of what, whose interests are you protecting? Well, as I said, I've moved on from this. Well, yeah, but I don't think the public has. Well, I've answered the question better. Well, yeah, but then don't you think that you, the, the public have a right to know, Prime Minister, that you know you unilaterally make a decision about a person that was publicly elected, and, and, and now the, hang on, but now you're refusing to answer the question. And that is exactly the case when anyone goes in the ministry, they serve when they have the confidence of the Prime Minister. We don't go through an exercise um, of, of deciding why someone gets in or doesn't get in. We're not having an endless debate about why I chose Nathan Guy and maybe not others. And if someone doesn't enjoy my confidence, then they won't get in the ministry. But we normally know why a Prime Minister has lost confidence. And in this case, we only know that you've lost confidence. Yeah. How can the public judge whether you are being fair if they don't know your reason? Um, well, I, I think they'll trust me on this now. So they just trust you without knowing what, what basis you made the decision? I think you've had wide range in reporting, does short range in reporting. National was quite happy to criticise Helen Clark, especially around these types of instances of her government, but you seem to be sort of covering up a little bit here. Why? Uh, well, as I said to you, I've moved on. But surely your MPs are not going to take the just need to know the benchmarks of, for the standards that you set for them. Yep. And, and as I said to you, um, <laughs> To, to serve in the ministry, you have to enjoy my confidence, and if you lose my confidence, then um, you won't serve in the ministry. But how do they know... The ministers understand that very clearly. But how do they know what it takes to lose your confidence, Prime Minister? Well, the ministers understand that. Well, Prime Minister, I, I don't think I can recall any time that a Prime Minister has removed 
a minister from Cabinet without any sort of explanation, you know, detailed explanation as to why he or she has lost confidence in it? I mean, why, no, why, should, a, it, why should it be any different there. for you? I haven't looked, I haven't looked at previously. Why should it be any different for you? Uh, because the, the, the salient point here is whether the minister enjoys my confidence. In this case, the ex-minister does not. No, the salient point seems to be that you're saying that he's no longer in the public eye because you're saying otherwise you would have told us. The reason you're not going to now is because he's no longer yep. a public figure. Correct. So is, is that the standard now? That if, if, if a minister loses your confidence and resigns from office and leaves parliament, you don't have any recourse to those reasons? Well, it would, where it's where it would be... Um, productive and going any further. For me, I'd close the check in the book and I'm going forward. How are we supposed to know, though, whether or not Dr. Wirth has done something wrong in terms of his position as a minister? If you won't tell us why he's... Well, the, the test is whether I have confidence in the minister. But doesn't the, the public also have a right Wirth, to have confidence? I, I don't have confidence with him. It was his choice about whether he wants to be a member of parliament or not. He mm. did not to be. The public paid his salary for nine things. years, didn't they? The public paid his salary as an MP for nine years. He's gone, and don't they deserve an answer? Well, he, he, he made the decision to leave. Dr. Wirth is still, still saying he's going to try and foster international trade for New Zealand. Surely, uh, somebody who's been such a public figure holding himself out as some sort of trade ambassador, we should know what he's done. And he's fully entitled to make any public comments he wants to. Was his decision to step down as an MP based on any assurance that you gave him about this information being kept quiet? Not in the slightest. Can you give the public assurance that, that he was removed as a minister not because of misusing his position in any way? I'm not going to go into the details. So you can't, you can't even tell the public whether or not this person has, has not misused their position? I think I've spelled out the reason. You haven't spelled out the reason. You've well, just said you... He's lost my confidence. Are you satisfied that this, is, that this uh, is a good yardstick for public accountability from your government? Well, for someone that's no longer a public figure, he's... So are you going to leave us to draw the conclusion that he may have misused his position as a minister, but you're not prepared to, to say whether he hasn't? Well, it's for you to speculate how you like, but um, from, from my perspective, the test is a very clear one. Um, he didn't link that test, and that was why I made it. But that, that's a direct question. Uh, did, but, did, but, uh, with all due respect, I think I've answered this question. I realise you're not satisfied with it, but as far as I'm concerned, I've met the test uh, that is required, and that is, he didn't enjoy my confidence. If he stands for any other public office, will you then say why he's lost your confidence? Uh, look, I'm not going to discuss how it is. Did he have much of a choice about resigning? It seemed to me he, did, he was a bit of a Hobson's choice, really, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think he did have a choice. Uh, I didn't have a discussion with him from the previous Friday to, to this Friday, uh, or the last Friday, like this whole week. Um, I put it, put, put it clearly to him that I thought he should take the counsel of his family and friends, and he did so. Do you think it's, it's damaged national at all, this whole business? Well, look, look, whenever there's an issue and a minister leaves uh, cabinet, uh, obviously it's not the most tidy situations. But I think people can see it for the isolated nature that it is. Uh, we've, I believe, I acted swiftly and fairly. Uh, I think that's an important point from the public's perspective. But fair to who, I guess the question is? No, fair to, New to New Zealanders and fair to Dr Worth. Yeah, but we don't know whether it's fair to New Zealanders because you're not telling us. Same so reason. Any other questions? And for the same reason, we don't know if it's fair to Dr. Wood. Yeah. Okay. Who, who are you trying to protect from this? Are you protecting Dr. Wood? I've answered those questions. I'll take them on something else, but not Dr. Wood. We'll have a